The election now just 18 days away and tens of thousands of people have already voted in Riverside County. The registrar's office reporting tonight that they have received over 79,000 mail-in ballots. Nearly 43,000 of those are from Democrats, about double the number that have come in from Republicans. News Channel 3's Jake Gracia continues your vote 2020 coverage. He's live at home tonight with more on the ongoing controversy over unofficial ballot boxes in California. Jake. John, good evening. And this dispute adding to the confusion and concern of partisan voter suppression through this election season. Well, it's election season, you know, and everybody gets a little crazy during election season. Senator Melissa Melendez is responding to controversy this week over unofficial ballot boxes deployed by the state GOP in several Southern California counties. We certainly agree having the word official on there would be misleading, but we were not going to stop deploying those boxes. We will not stop and no one has the legal authority to tell us to do so. Secretary of State Alex Padilla, along with the Justice Department earlier this week, issued immediate cease and desist orders. Let me be clear, unofficial, unauthorized ballot drop boxes are not permitted by state law. But the GOP says what they're doing is legal and those ballot boxes aren't going anywhere. The boxes are still out there and they're there to stay. In 2016, AB 1921 was signed into law by Governor Jerry Brown, making ballot harvesting legal, authorizing anyone to turn in someone else's vote by mail ballot. I could pull up in a U-Haul truck full of ballots and turn them in without any questions asked. The ballot is supposed to be signed by both parties, but even if it's not, Melendez says it still must be counted. I think that's a flaw in the law. I think perhaps they might address that this year. The East Valley Republican headquarters in La Quinta is harvesting hundreds of ballots each day, a system President Joy Medici says is secure. Transporting, we will have a guard with the person, you know, two people driving the boxes up. We'll be sealing them and uh, your ballot will be secure with us here at Republican headquarters. And Melendez says because it's legal, Republicans statewide are harvesting ballots full steam ahead. We operate under the same laws that Democrats do, so we are ballot harvesting. That is part of our effort to make sure we get out the vote, make sure everybody's ballot is counted in an efficient manner. 